Hello everyone, and welcome to a new segment that I hope to keep going here at TCT. It's called M-Man Recommends. And basically what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be recommending games. Now I know that maybe a lot of people don't want to hear my opinion, but I feel like these are games that need you know they, they need to be known out there and I, ju I just want to help people find these great games I will only really be recommending the ones that I feel truly need their attention and to start this off I could think of no better than Gone Home now for those of you that know me personally or, may or are stalking me uh, anyway <sighs> You'll know I'm studying video games myself, and one thing I love is a great narrative and story in a game. They are the things that, the driving force that can keep me going, even if the gameplay is not the best. Games like Gone Home, Dear Esther, Stanley Parable, Secret World, these are all games that have great narrative, and I will continue to play them over and over again just to relive that narrative. So let's enter this here, start this up, and let's check out Gone Home. Alright, here we go. Loading. <laughs> okay. The Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh, this game is set in the 90s, and I, I gotta give credit to the team. They've captured the 90s perfectly. I swear to God, I'm look. It's like being in a Steven Spielberg film. Anyway, so the tale of Gone Home is that you have gone home. You are this girl who has apparently been on a trip, Caitlin Greenbrier, and you've come home. And, well, where is everyone? Oh, there's a note. Interesting. Oh, door's locked. How to get out? Hmm. What to do? What to do? Hey. Anyway. A duck! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was a great throw. Anyway. And we pick up the key. We open the door. Okay, so this is gone home. You've come home and nobody's there. And they should be, or at least someone should. Now, the entire prospect of this game, purpose of this game, is just to explore. You are just exploring this house at your own pace, soaking in the atmosphere, and just looking at all the various little things, and just trying to unravel the story seeing what happened here why no one's around the f Oof. just thunder <laughs> yeah I gotta give the team credit on making this game its atmosphere is palpable it's, it's really good it's just so much attention to detail just catches a lot of various things. It gets the feeling of the 90s down with all its various elements. And it 
also has a lot of attention to detail to his actual story, which is really good. I gotta give him credit for actually remembering various things. Oh, like that. Pull the string. Ooh. Ah. Over the Alps. Hmm. Anyway. What the hell was that? Okay, so as I said before, you're exploring this house at your own pace. Just looking at all the various things, trying to find out what is happening. So that's what we're going to do. Hmm. Ooh, answering machine. Sam. See if we can find some more things. Well, look at them. All those smiling chipper faces. A map as well. VHS. VHS! A pillow fort! The 90s! The 90s! Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, gonna be a bit more serious here. But, yeah. Now, I'm not going. I can't really go into much detail about the story of this game. To do so would spoil the story, and trust me, it's the best feature of this game. But I can assure you this that. This g entire game has helped out. It's been like one of the most emotionally thrilling stories I've ever seen in a game. By the end. Yeah. Anyway, so you go around and you're looking for, I think, stuff like this. This is notes from your sister, or clues to finding out where they are, what happened while you were away. So if you just click on them, you start getting a little thing. And it starts coming up with all the various things, and when I exit, I should. Oh. Guess not. I thought that was the one. Haunting and poltergeist. Yeah, no pizza. Mm. Yeah, so you're looking for specific things. Something like a note that will explain what happened here. They're usually hidden about the place. Ooh. Making friends. This is a severe weather. Yeesh. The Northwest weather. Ah, you know there we that go. feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school.
So, yeah. That's essentially what you do in this game. You're going around, you're looking for these notes to find out what happened while you were away. And I can assure you this story. It's really good. It's so good. I'm very, I can't actually say so. Say what it is. But I'll tell you this. If you are a fan of any narrative experience, this game is worth a purchase. So, anyway. This is the me signing off from the first episode of M-Man Recommends. And today, I've recommended Gone Home. You can pick it up at Steam for fourteen ninety nine, And I promise you this, you won't regret it. Okay, y'all. Keep playing those games, alright.